So Apple has just released yet another beta for iOS 16 and I'm always very excited when Apple releases new betas for major software updates because we always get new features, changes, and this third beta is no exception. Now for those of you still waiting for the public beta program to be active, I'd expect that to be announced here within the next week or so. So public beta testers, if you're looking to update to iOS 16, stay tuned here to the channel because I'll be covering that here shortly once Apple makes it available again within the next week or so we should see the public beta program. So let's take a look at iOS 16 developer beta 3. There's quite a bit to talk about with this new beta. I'm so excited to share the changes and important major new features within this one. So as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode and now let's head on over into safari here because i do want to talk about other software so apple of course released beta 3 for ios 16 but as per usual they updated other other platforms so ipad os 16 beta 3 is available for the ipad if you want to download that we also have mac os 13 beta 3 is available for the mac of course watch os 9 beta 3 is available for the apple watch and a tv os 16 beta 3 is available for the Apple TV. So Apple updated other platforms as per usual. Now let's take a look at this download because this one comes in at approximately a gig and a half of a download updating from beta two over to beta three. And the first thing I wanna talk about is a minor UI change when you go to take a look at the build number, take a look at the UI here. See, it's different, it slides in from the side instead of the bottom and it's completely different right there. It is beta three, the latest build number 2085312G. And as you can see right there, of course, we still got plenty of betas to go around before we get a final release for iOS 16. Don't expect this software to be released to the public until maybe mid to late September when the new iPhones get released. So plenty of betas to go and many new features and changes to go before we get to that. Now let's talk about some of the minor changes I've noticed so far within about an hour of using the software. And the first thing I want to talk about is home screen options and settings. Now if we go into home screen options here, right there under the settings application, this has been renamed instead of show on search, it's now search on home. So this little search tab here that you see on your home screen can actually be removed from the home screen if you do that right there. But this is another new feature just a renamed of a feature that was already there just wanted to mention that here quickly i also want to talk about of course the lock screen one of the biggest changes coming to the iphone with the lock screen here we now have some new fonts so let's go into customizing options and click on the clock here we now have two additional fonts so these six here were here previously and now we have these two here now available this one reminds me of ios 15 font and this one is new right there as well so we now have eight instead of six and right here for the color picker we now have the opacity i guess you can call it right there at the bottom you can go ahead and change that it's always visible there for you on your lock screen now also some of these shortcuts or widgets on the lock screen here behave differently i'm sort of going over some of these uh, lock screen changes so of course stay tuned to the channel there's a follow-up video coming for you guys with additional new features and changes again this is just a quick first look at some of the new features i've noticed so far but i also want to talk about one major new feature but before we get to that there's also some changes within the wallpapers category so if we go into settings here and we go into the wallpaper options. We now have this little platter at the bottom here sort of explaining how to change the wallpaper where you can change it directly from the lock screen. Wallpapers within iOS 16 are a bit harder to implement and sort of get used to once you get your hands on iOS 16. You understand why Apple goes uh, out of their way to sort of explain how the wallpaper elements now work due to the fact that you can now customize your lock screen. So yeah, this platter here now explains how lock screen wallpapers and customization sort of work work with wallpapers. Now if we go into this option here for the home screen to customize and we go to customize home screen wallpaper, we now have sort of transparent icons here which makes it a lot easier for visibility when you go to apply a wallpaper. I sort of like that change here. So minor changes to the UI for the wallpapers categories within iOS 16 developer beta 3. Now let's get to one of the biggest changes happening here and that is lockdown mode. And this is pretty much, I guess you can call it a super 
secure option for iPhones, iPads, and Mac users that are in a threat of a national state level attack. So for example, private companies developing a sponsor spyware, remember Pegasus? So this will help your iPhone stay secure. For example, journalists, activists, government employees, basically protecting users from a targeted cyber attack. And Apple explains here when this could be useful and when you can use this feature. Of course, this is major, major coming to the iPhone with iOS 16 as well as iPad and a Mac OS. If we go into settings here and we scroll all the way down into privacy and security, this is where you find the new option, lockdown mode. And under lockdown mode here, you have the option to learn more and you also have the option to enable it. Of course, right here, you get a brief description of lockdown mode when iphone is in lockdown mode apps websites and features are strictly limited for security reasons and of course some features may be completely unavailable for example in messages messages attachments are blocked and some features will be unavailable facetime incoming facetime calls from people you have not previously called are blocked or invited also web browsing browsing technologies and browsing features are blocked also within the photos application shared albums will be removed from the photos app and new shared albums invitations will be blocked as well under this new feature device connection when you go to connect your device to a computer or another accessory when your iphone is locked those connections will not happen so it can't get access to any USB-C connection here. Also, Apple services, incoming invitation from Apple services and people who were not previously invited are blocked as well. And we have profiles from schools and other things like uh, work cannot be installed when this feature is enabled. And if you enable this feature, you get this prompt here, once again, warning you as into why this feature is important. But at the same time, you must be cautious if you do enable this feature because a lot happens here. Now, Apple has said that they will be continuing to build upon lockdown mode. So this is an initial release of lockdown mode in beta. More features, more options, more restrictions will be coming within the next couple of betas as lockdown mode and iOS 16 continue to evolve. But this is a major, major feature for those who are targeted by agency like government employees and things like that. I think this is super, super cool. And I think also some users can actually take advantage of this in certain situations. But yeah, so far, that is everything I wanted to share with you guys so far in regards to Beta 3. As I mentioned, a follow-up video will be happening here in the next 24 to 48 hours. I will continue to dig around the software, find new features and changes to share additional things for you and with you in the next coming days. So make sure to subscribe, stay tuned here to the channel. Thank you for watching today's video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace!